Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. First of all, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and happy holidays, wherever you are, whatever you're celebrating, whoever you're celebrating with, I hope you have a really, really wonderful time. And I do hope that you can actually celebrate in person with your loved ones and not just over Zoom as we've done for the past couple of years. Now, over the next few weeks, I am going to share my animal signs outlook for the year 2022. As you know, the year 2022 is the year of the water tiger, and it officially starts on February 4th, 2022. So uh, keep checking in over the next few weeks. I will be releasing 12 videos um about the animal signs and what the year 2022 will bring for each one of them now the first thing you want to do is to actually plot your baza chart uh, you can go to this url and i will also post this in the notes to this video so you just key in your date and time of birth if you don't know the time never mind that's not so critical but obviously you do know your date uh, date of birth so key that in and then you will get your personal Basel chart and as you will notice um, especially if you're a beginner um, there are actually four uh, boxes that contain animal signs yeah you can have one in the year one in the month one in the day and one in the hour. Now for seasoned Baza practitioners, this is nothing new, but for those of you who are new to Baza astrology or Chinese astrology, uh, just be aware that you can have up to four different animal signs in your natal chart. So it's not just the year that you're born in that is relevant, but uh, you also need to actually check in with the month, the day and the hour. Now, some of us have four different animal signs. Some of us have two different ones, three different ones. Some repeat, like in this chart here, this person has the tiger in the month and also in the hour. That's completely normal. So just check what it is for you, because um, all those animal signs that I'm going to be talking about in the next few videos, all relate to you as long as you have them somewhere in your natal chart. Now, um, there is a slight difference in where they appear and what they mean. Um, so, for example, if the animal sign appears in the year, um, in your, if you're born in the year of the ox, for example, if it's in the year, um, then this, the information that I relate to you um, relates more to your social circle, your industry, for example, or your wider circle of friends, your um, extended family. Yeah. If the animal sign I'm talking about appears in the month, then it relates to your career. It relates to your customer, your business partners. It can also relate to your work colleagues or just generally anything that has to do with your job, with your career, um, also with your wealth potential. If it appears in the day, then it has to do with you personally. So it's more on a personal level, whether that be um, health or personal relationships. And if it appears in the hour, it relates mostly to your uh, dreams, your aspirations, your investments, but also your children. So there's a slight difference, but don't worry too much. Um, if this is a little bit too confusing, then just don't apply it that way. Just take note of the animal signs that you have in the natal chart and then apply the information that I'm going to give you for yourself. So we will start with the tiger because this is obviously um, the animal of the year. So if you have the tiger anywhere in your natal chart, year, month, day and hour, doesn't matter. If you have it anywhere in the natal chart, then you will um, have those particular auxiliary stars or uh, supplementary energies in your chart for the entire year of 2022. Those are called the Grand Duke Star, the Duke's Arrival Star, the Intelligence Star, Hidden Corp Star, Sword Edge Star, and the Peeling Head Star. Now, they obviously all mean something different, and I'll explain every one of them in detail. Now, the Grand Duke Star is um, the star that brings some disruptions to your plans. 
because obviously it's the same uh, animal sign as the year itself. So it could mean that you will be facing some unexpected problems um, that are forcing you to make changes to existing plans. Now, rather than panicking or thinking that this is something really, really negative or bad, um, just make a backup plan. So whatever you've, your plans are for next year, they may not pan out just the way you had hoped. So make a backup plan or even better, just be comfortable with change. Yeah, the more you embrace change, the better this year will work for you. And so be spontaneous. And then this is actually going to be a really, really good year for you. The Grand Duke Star is not necessarily anything bad. It's just the harbinger of change. And as you know, we only develop or evolve with change. So just be aware of that and be flexible, be open-minded. And if change rolls around, then just roll with it um, and don't get too upset about it. Now, the Duke's Arrival Star, on the other hand, shines in your favor this year by opening doors for you to attract a lot of attention. So it will feel like all eyes are on you and people just um, are kind of mesmerized by you and what you're doing. Now, this is great, of course, if you want to attract attention, maybe you're launching a product or a service or you, you're in sales, then this is obviously great um, because people will find it really effortless to connect with you and uh, be attracted to whatever it is that you're doing or that you have to offer. Um, it's especially helpful, of course, if you're in the business of profiting from a large group of loyal customers or followers. Yeah. So if you want to amass um, a mass following, then this is great because your, um, your actions will go viral. Now, make sure that you go viral for the right reasons and not for anything stupid that you've done, right? So um, if you're planning on any way attracting more attention to you, your brand or whatever it is that you're doing next year and you have the tiger anywhere in your chart, then you will likely succeed with this endeavor. Now, the intelligence star, as the name implies, uh, makes you able to absorb uh, new skills and knowledge much, much more effortlessly than in other years. So you will have the opportunity to learn new things. It's not that it makes you more intelligent, but it's easier for you to learn something new. So really take that opportunity and upskill. Yeah, so those who are seeking more wealth will have the chance to acquire the knowledge to, um, to learn how to actually make more money. Yeah, whatever it is that you want to learn, uh, make it uh, something that actually increases your own self-worth or your own self-value. Yeah, make sure that it benefits you also financially. And um, you will be, um, you will find it quite easy to not only find the right teachers, but also the right mentors or teaching material. So it's really quite uh, good, especially if you are planning to do anything academics, or maybe you're trying to to uh, sit for a test next year. So this is a really, really good start to have. Now, the hidden corpse star sounds much scarier than it actually is. What it means is that you just need to be really mindful of your communication next year, um, particularly with family members, because this energy can bring, has the tendency to bring um, communication breakdowns and misunderstandings. Now, this is not inevitable. Now that you know about it, you can preempt this from happening by just um, communicating with more compassion or communicating a little bit softer than you otherwise would, because otherwise, um, especially your family members are going to take it the wrong way, even if you don't mean it in any negative way at all. Then we've got the sword edge star. Now, this one can... Um, make you feel a little bit down um, and a little bit depressed. So again, if that happens, if you start feeling under the weather or just mentally, emotionally, not that great, uh, take sure to, to take some time to pamper yourself. Yeah, and do something for yourself and focus on self-care to avoid uh, the negative effects of this particular star. It doesn't mean that you're gonna spiral into a depression um, or that you're going to feel horrible all next year. But every now and then you may just feel like, oh, 
you know, what's the point of doing what I'm doing? And you, you know, when you just have these extreme mood swings, when that happens, just make yourself aware that this is really just a, a sort of an annual annoying um, kind of energy. It's not something that's here to stay. It's just for this year. And you can absolutely mitigate this by just taking care of yourself and doing something that makes you happy. And then lastly, we've got the peeling head star. Now the peeling head star is um, not such a great energy to have in the chart. So if you have the tiger anywhere in your natal chart, then the peeling head star will bring um, the risk of one of your family members maybe getting really, really ill. Um, I would say make sure that you check in, especially with your elderly family members, check in regularly, make sure that they're doing okay and that you spend more time with them than usual. Yeah, so that way you avoid regretting things later. Yeah, so peeling heads are not such a great energy, but just do make sure that you're checking in, that you're communicating, that you know um, when you can help family members, especially the ones that are senior to you or, or older than you or need some help, spend more time with family. All right, so this is the tiger. Uh, join me. Uh, the next video will be about the rabbit and I'm going to uh, post that in a couple of days. So until then, I wish you a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and see you soon.